Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Today we're gonna do some uh, littler side quests, some minor side quests than the Step ones we've one. been doing before. And we're gonna start with this man praying man here. All may draw from the well of the Eternal Fire's grace. A so we've heard about the Church of the Eternal Fire and this is one of their priests. What do you want? Rejoice! For even a creature as depraved and base in nature as you can serve the glory of the eternal fire. Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. Necrophages defile those not already rotting in mass graves. This is not right. That's to be my good deed for the day. A handsomely profitable one, I might add. I know your kind don't work for free. That's always so insulting, but I don't think there are a lot of occupations that do stuff for free. But hey, we'll do it. Alright, I'll take care of it. This will count amongst your merits. The more good one works in life, the more hallowed things are. Yes, splendid. Here are the holy oils. Dash generously and set alight, understood? I wish it to flare up to the sky, for the glory of the eternal fire and all that. And Once all I've that. incinerated the bodies, where will I find you? I shall be near the bridge to Novigrad. Okay, sounds simple enough. Funeral pyres. So we have to find and burn the bodies lying in pits on the battlefield. So we'll start by taking the closest one, which is over there. So we've been dealing a lot with necrophages lately, drowners, rot fiends, and the like. So that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, there he went and he exploded the door. So here's the first pit. Doesn't seem anything special about it. So let's go ahead and burn it. Now for a shot of Igni. So applying the holy oils as the priest called it. And then just put it on fire. Giving us a tiny bit of experience. Then heading towards the next soon to be funeral pyre and as expected there are yeah, sure fiends as well, like ghouls as well in here so and there goes the last one quickly Loot the place. And then head back towards that pyre. And do the same thing we did before. Now for a shot of Igni. But there seems to be Okay, never mind, it's a it's a ghoul. Yeah, it's not a ghoul. So again as with the previous bit, just put the place on fire. And then towards that last pit, there's something big walking around there. Looks like a bear. I'm gonna try and avoid that. Here we go. See you in a second. So there seems to be more than just ghouls at this one. Four ghouls this time. We do have the distraction of uh, the man helping us. Or we helping him. And the last one seems to be a bit scared of us. We want to get my health back. And there he goes. So now, what does this man have to tell us? 
If it ain't that fucking priest, it's corpse eaters. I'm done with this damn town. A priest? We'd agreed to meet as usual, just a larger delivery. Good customer, I thought. Then they whipped out blades. Oh. So... The priest isn't as, uh... Pure as he says he is. We still talking about a priest of the eternal fire? I'd say so. Beat stained pricks can't be trusted. This one had ordered premium grade fist tech from me three times, everything perfect, but the fourth, his man came at us with knives, sought to knock us out of the trade. Shoved me in that ditch with the corpses. Must have thought the ghouls would take care of the rest. And to make sure, he hired a witcher to burn the bodies, destroy any evidence. A witcher? Meaning you? So what now? Well, Nothing I think you made it pretty clear. Oh, thank the gods, it's true what they say. Though mutants, you live by a code. Oh, thank you, Witcher. Well, the problem, man. So the priest is uh, having a little side business in the drug trade, because uh, this man is a drug dealer. Fistag is the local drug. So uh, we'll do what we came to do here. So we'll burn the bodies to avoid... Now for a shot of Igni. Any more infestation by those ghouls. Switch back to Igni. Ah, fire away! So now, of course, we're gonna have a bit of a dilemma. Are we going to uh, confront the priest with his m misdoings or not? Because he did try to kill a few people. So this is gonna be quite the trip, so uh, see you in a minute. So trying to make our way across this uh, this battlefield. We meet again with that red priest. So, hello sir. Well, Witcher, have you completed your task? Well, we did, but uh, we found out something else as well. Why do you priests take an interest in the Fallen so late? The Church of the Eternal Fire's first duty is to the living. You've no notion of the work we did just after the battle. The wounded needed tending, refugees, pastoral care. We had sermons to deliver, donations to collect. Relieved to hear it. What would the people have done without you? So, we took care of business. So, took care of the graves. Interesting, actually. One of the corpses proved to be quite... Well, alive. And pretty talkative. What do you mean? Fistech dealer. One of them survived. Had an awfully interesting story to tell. Hmm. Intriguing. I would purchase this story from you. For all time. Exclusively. Well, we're uh, quite an honorable witcher. And I don't take bribes. Sorry, man. You can hire me, but you sure as hell can't buy me. Ah, an impasse. Then it will be cheapest to kill you. Three on one. Surely we'll manage, Witcher or not. Take him! Ah, I don't think so. So the level is uh, quite manageable. Strike a bit of fire in his heart. So that's the priest down, and now this guy. And there he goes. Some good old fashioned fisticus. And there we go, another quest done, finished. A uh, not so uh, friendly priest taken care of. So, I'll uh, go straight to our next quest, which is also a very interesting one. Albeit one with uh, a bit less combat involved. So we are going to fast travel to Westral Manor, because that's the closest to our uh, next objective. There we go. Heard of the fly head 
So we're gonna head south towards uh, a ruin that we've passed a few times already. But I had to ignore because of the quest we were doing at that time. But there's some interesting people here. Someone placed an illusion here. You didn't bring but a single scurvy run. No wonder he cursed us. I were doomed. What are you doing here? What? This sun flying from the moon? We're making offerings to the All God, clearly. You too can seek his aid. That's if you got fit in offerings. He scorned ours, then cursed the old village. So. They are talking about an old god, and that is something we do not know yet about, so uh, tell me more. The all god you call him, first I've heard, is some new deity? Nay, it is ancient, revered by our forefathers. They say it were like this. Roslav of Oriton came here to gather brushwood. And suddenly, for no reason, a bush burst into flame. Then, Roslav heard a voice from the ground, demanding offerings and obedience. We've been coming here since Sounds like Christianity. Gifts, in exchange for which the All God watches over us, keeps us from evil. Mm hmm. Plain to see that. So, what was wrong with those offerings you gave him? He wasn't happy. So, what's wrong with your offerings? You needn't mock us. You can see right well we brought scraps. Before the war, I wouldn't give this such to me hounds. But what can we do? Such are the times, and they're like to get worse. All God said if he don't get a rafter of bacon and a barrel of beer at least, the rivers will fill up with frogs and lotusks or some such will devour the harvest. So the All Gods is starting to, uh, to sound more and more like something real since he's asking for bacon and a barrel of beer. So let's see if we can't talk with this old God. I could intercede on your behalf with this All God of yours. Got a feeling we'd come to an understanding. Well, I suppose it can't hurt to try. To speak with him, you've to stand before the altar and cry out, All God, help a poor wretch in need. Who knows, he might just listen to a foreigner. And that we're going to try. So, this is the statue, I think. So, let's, uh, after we uh, set that quest active, let's try this statue oh, out. All God. Help a poor wretch in need. Pretty please. How dare you disturb my divine rest, mortal? I dare disturb it because I want your divine self to lift the, uh, curse you cast. Those peasants really don't have. They must bring worthy offerings or they shall face drought, driving hail, earthquakes, avalanches. I have spoken. Avalanches? Here? <laughs> How would that work? No and answer then from the all silence. God. Fine. We can finish our conversation when I find him. Voice came from underground. So pretty clear that uh, there's something or someone below these ruins fooling these poor people into uh, thinking there's a god. So uh, yeah, Geralt already I sensed it. use it. When we enter the ruins, there is an illusion here. Since we have the eye to dispel the illusions, we can easily enter the ruins below, which are actually pretty nice. And then we can see what the all gold really is. What? Who dares disturb my divine being? This pretty thing is Geralt a silver. Rivia. Pleasure. Huh. <laughs> Expected the All God to be corporeal in form, but never thought he'd be corpulent. Fattened up nicely at those peasants' expense. Expense? Expense? Not a word about the help I give in return. Blessings, absolutions, enlightened advice. Believe me, these folks need all of it. I'd watch over them still if they fulfilled their end. But lately, they offer these pathetic scraps. That they steal from the mouths of their children. And to make matters worse, you cast a curse on them. And I'll not lift it till they bring me worthy offerings. I'm to settle for curds and whey. Not a chance. And you can tell them that. 
Oh, stupid creature. So this thing is a sylvan, a sort of a devil-like creature. And he's uh, fooling these peasants into giving him food and drinks and all the things he wants. So, we can again have three options. We can try and kill it. We can uh, try to negotiate with it or just bow down and uh, tell the peasants that we couldn't help. So let's first ask him how long he's been here. Been in this hole long? For a century or so. One winter I found shelter here. Built a fire so large the flames leapt through the crack. Lit the bushes above. I coughed from the smoke. And suddenly heard a peasant. A voice out of nowhere, he called. A miracle. Thus... I became a god. Easy as that. More like. Maybe so. But what of Freya and the little a then? Hmm? Demanding prayers and offerings, given naught in return. I talk at least. Yeah, because you're real. You're corporeal, so yeah. But I'm not here to uh, discuss deities and uh, religion. So we'll try and settle for your humble offerings. Listen here, Lord Ass. You're gonna be satisfied with what you get, or I'll feed you to the ravens. Plowing reformers. No, fine, fine. I'll sup more modestly. But just till the end of the war, not one day longer. So there we go. He agrees with our reasoning. I'm gonna quickly check around if he doesn't have anything for us. I don't think he minds. And otherwise it's a good excuse to kill him. So the enhanced hangman's hangman's venom. Some booze. And that's about it. So the enhanced version we can use to upgrade our already pretty potent hangman's venom. So let's talk to these guys again. Anything new? Talk to your old god face to face. And will he show us mercy? He will. Promise to be pleased with whatever you bring. <laughs> I told you. I told you the old god's merciful understanding. Thanks, Witcher. So, um... We can entice the peasants to go take a look below, which is uh, kind of sadistic. But I don't think I'm going to do that or leave well enough alone. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I'll go check it out. Oh, one last thing. Did you know there's a crypt beneath this hill? I want to take a look sometime. Architecture is fascinating. So that's that. They uh, can go check that out at their own behalf. I don't know if they do that immediately, though. Well, they sit here anyway. In the meantime, I'm gonna quickly check out if I can uh, upgrade my hangman's venom. Oh, I can make Petri's filter apparently. Increases sign intensity. So let's. First check if I can. Okay, ingredients missing. I miss bear fat and necker eye. Oh, and it boosts it up to 25% attack power versus humans and non-humans. So that's one to keep an eye on. But I'm gonna make the Petri's filter. Just so that we have it. There we go. And with that second quest done, maybe a quick anecdote about Sylvans. Um, there is a short story in The Last Wish, uh, one of the, the books of The Witcher itself, uh, in which there is a, a pretty exciting battle between Geralt and, uh, I'm gonna suppose, a bit more athletic Sylvan than that one. So, funny little side note. But that will be all for this episode, so I hope you enjoyed watching this episode. And uh, if you liked it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more. So I thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye!